Hey everybody, well, before I start this video, this is me from the future. I want to apologize for everything being so late. There's a lot of things going on in my personal life. Since my last video, there's been two more deaths in the family. And one of them just yesterday. Uh, it's my cousin, the one I <clears throat> requested prayer for here about a year ago. I put a little uh, tile up there uh, to that video. But she passed away yesterday after an 18-month battle with uh, cancer. And with <clears throat> my own health issues, <laughs> they got me on this 30-day heart monitor. <sighs> Been having a time with it. Can't get my pulse under control. It's wanting to run rat rampant. Like right now, it's running 98, so it's running pretty fair. I got to hang on to this phone here. <laughs> they gave me this to monitor to this here. It sends the signals to people who's doing it. But anyhow. I'll go ahead, we'll get on to the video, and like I said, some of the timelines are off, <laughs> but I'm getting it out. So, with that, let's go ahead, roll on to the video. Alright, see y'all there. Hey everybody, how's it going? Well... <laughs> Uh, today I'm going to have a pretty interesting video. Um, back in March, my flagpole, yeah, it came down in a windstorm. Help, it's been bad. Finally, getting to the point where I can fix the flagpole and my main video editing rig is down. The uh, AIO, which is the cooler, it quit. So, I'm replacing it, but I got some pretty big changes coming to it and I'm also gonna add that so this is gonna be a pretty interesting video and it may be a little bit getting it out but let's get started okay right in here there goes my mail anyhow right here is where a flagpole was <clears throat> before it was brought down in March. Um, how I'm going to fix it, I'm going to take one and a half inch PVC pipe and I'm going to put it down the center of the uh, pole shaft. That way <clears throat> it'll rejoin that there, give me an area to set it back. Actually this is the second time I had to do something like this. But this go around, I'm going to reinforce the whole pole so i got 20 feet of one and a half inch pvc pipe i'm going to reinforce it set it back and hopefully <laughs> i will not have to worry about that flag coming back down again for a while i typically when the weather gets bad and y'all have seen it in previous videos i try to get my flag down because of that but that happened overnight and it won't good anyhow all right Let's go ahead, get into it, and get this pipe in here. All right. All right, well, <laughs> I'm up here under the carport because it's like a million degrees out there. It's North Carolina, South, Summer. Yeah. <laughs> Got my truck parked there. Got a pipe there. Got flagpole right there. So this is where I'm planning on working. <sighs> I'm hoping that maybe I'm probably going to have to prop it up against that right there to hold it while I hammer that in. All right. Well, let me get the pipe and we'll get the hammering.
All right, well, change of plan. I had to bring it over here using the pump house. That wasn't sufficient. And I'm having to cut the pipes down sections in order to get enough, whatchamacallit, to drive it down. But what I'm doing is, <clears throat> well, what I'm doing here, I'm putting it up against the stump right here, and I'm switching ends. Because I think what's going on is it's getting trapped on my previous repair from a few years ago. So, I'm going to come in from the other end, which would be the top of it. I took the truck off of it, which is the dolly that brings the flag up and down. And I'm driving it in that way. And I'm having to drive it in in sections, because like I said, I'm doing it in the full length. And trust me, I wanted to do it in the full length, but that won't happen in... I want enough energy to transfer in the uh, whatchamacallit PVC pipe to push it on through so anyhow it is what it is so I'm gonna go ahead try to get as much as I can brought down the shaft of the flagpole um, the flagpole might end up being an inch or two taller in the end because of the uh, PVC there. But I'm going to try to get old Glory flying again. You're asking yourself, why don't I just go buy a new flagpole? Well, two reasons. Number one, they're expensive, a hundred bucks. Number two, I'm too blame stubborn. No, I like a challenge trying to fix something. At that point, it becomes the fact of the matter. Yeah. Kind of like my old computer. The case is from 98. I've been fussed out, cussed out, saying, why the heck are you using that ancient case? It ain't proper, da 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 this, da 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 that. Yeah. That's just me, I'm stubborn. I like working with what I got. And I like fixing things. I like working with things, so, yeah, all right, so I'm going to get back to doing it, hammer it here, and try to get the full 20 length of PVC I bought to, uh, whoop, go straight down the uh, shaft, that's the plan, if it works, <laughs> it's stupid me. Stupid me. I decided, hey, you know what? It'd be a great idea to use this tree. It's solid, it's fresh, be perfect. Well, little truck's got like a boat where <laughs> you attach the ball that's on the top of the pole. Anyhow, I ended up nailing the dark limb thing to the daggum tree and I had to use a reciprocating saw to cut it out yeah stupid see I proved it right there zip <laughs> and it's in here right in there See if I can zoom in. Yeah, right there. Yep, that's gonna be part of the tree now. Ain't get, ain't no getting that out. <laughs> that's for sure. That is for sure. All right. I'm gonna quit running my mouth. I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> get to work, try to get this pole fixed, and back up and get old Glory flying. At least have it flying by the 4th of July. I'm ashamed I didn't have it flying for Memorial Day. But like I said, health problems, all whatnot stopped me. Today, I'm finally having a good day. 
So I'm kicking it and I'm doing it. And also, it looks like it's going to go to raining. Let's go ahead. I'll shut my mouth. I ran my trap enough. I'll try to get this moseyed on in there and see what we can do. All right. Okay, right in here is the tension and screw. Go in like that right there. And I'm hoping that with the diameter being close enough that I can connect to this. And hopefully this white PVC won't be that visible like I said at 20 feet. And the flag's gonna be here. I kinda hate to cut it because I have to do future repairs and it ends up shortening the shaft because I already had to cut a little bit just right here to get this in to help shore everything up but uh, let's go ahead and give it a try before it starts raining because it looks like it's going to Put my finger. I will see y'all in the front yard. All right. See you there. My camera was overheating, so I had to stop recording. But I made a few minor modifications off camera. <sighs> Let's see if that'll work. All right. Let's give it a try. All right, let's try this again. This is being a failure.
all right flagpole repair <laughs> that was a failure yeah if you want to see me babble like an idiot make a fool of myself then I'll make a little video of it but it won't be in this one I'll have it unlisted listed in at the end of the video yeah so if you're bored enough to see that and want to see me make a fool of myself laugh at me call me an idiot yeah you can watch it it'll be at the end on the card or whatever you call it I can't think right now my brain's fried all right hopefully tomorrow I will be working on Yesterday was a big, massive fail. I tried to put Humpty Dumpty back together. I couldn't put it together again. Yep, been pieced together <laughs> two or three too many times. So, I'm planning on building a real flagpole. I've been there on uh, the interwebs there and asking around about flagpoles. And I've been led to the direction of building my own out of three inch steel pipe and use couplings to join them. So, come next month when I get my paycheck, that's what I'll do. Right now, bills just been paid and I'm broke as a hank. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make my own makeshift pole out of the materials I have. And it's going to be temporary. This ain't going to be permanent. It's going to be a temporary solution. But I want to get old Glory flying. I at least want to have her flying by July the 4th. So what I'm going to do is I got right here. This pole you see right here. That is what I use for my uh, <clears throat> Blink security camera. And there's supposed to be a floodlight there, but the battery's dead. And I got it in the house right now, so it <laughs> uh, won't corrode, nothing like that. Dead batteries, whatever. But anyhow, I'm going to, uh, I got some decking screws, three inch decking screws. And I'm going to take this piece of 10 foot PVC pipe, and I'm going to screw it all down this 4x4 four four pole and take the parts from the old flagpole and piece them together and at least try to make my own <laughs> flagpole. Now again, I don't know if this one will turn out to be an epic fail like last time, but like I said, I'm the type of person who loves just tinkering doing stuff like this so for me this is a hobby I find it fun and entertaining <laughs> and if you want to see the epic fail yesterday the full length I'll make a video of it but uh, it was awful <laughs> bad uh, even by my standards and forgive me I ain't been weak and whatnot like I said my health's been bad right now I'm hitting a good spot so this is why I'm out here doing it the flag originally fell back in 
March or April, I can't remember which one. It was during a strong windstorm. And I'm just now getting to the point where I can fix it. So, let me quit running my jaws and we'll go ahead and try to start getting things fixed. Alright, let me get the camera set up. Alright, and here's the uh, pipe right here. I went ahead off camera and marked it at the length of that uh, 4x4 pole and I'm going to go ahead and drill some pilot holes in for the 3 inch decking screws to make this go in right a good bit easier so that's what I'm going to do now that's why I marked that I'm going to come here every few inches and drill a pilot hole till I get down to the bottom Because otherwise, <laughs> trying to uh, do that manually, that's a pain in the butt. Trust me, I've been there. All right, well, let me get the bits in my drill and let's get the drilling. All right, I'm back. Okay, I had to shore up a couple more things and grab the bungee cord. So, when I finally do get it here, hopefully, I can get this bad boy to hold it until I get a couple screws in here. I don't know. It ain't that it's heavy. It's the leverage. Feels like it weighs a thousand pounds once you get past a certain teetering point. Science. Go figure. Alright, well, let's try this again. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple more decking screws in here and see if I can get the top of this straightened out because I'll show you what I'm talking about. See that bend coming through on here, but starting probably about right in there it starts bending and it's wanting to come this way here towards the camera. So I'm hoping that maybe I can take the rope there and just be in that straight. If not, I'm gonna have to uh, take it back down and <clears throat> try to put another longer piece of PVC pipe in there. That there I put kind of a shorter piece, a little scrap piece I found. I should have went ahead and put a larger piece there but I didn't anyhow but like I said this is just a temporary solution until <laughs> I get up the money to actually build a real flagpole uh, all right well let's see if we can get it straight before I carry on All right, good news. It did straighten it out a right good bit. And I'm seeing that if I go ahead and put in the top three screws on up there on the pole, that's gonna give it enough support to where that part there isn't gonna have as much stress on it. And it ain't gonna want to 
lean forward. Hey. This works out. <laughs> I may not do a five flag pole. I mean, yeah, that's actually pretty neat. It's a good bit taller than it was before. Before it was 20 feet. Now it's probably, oh, I'm gonna say 25, 30 feet now. But anyway, let me go ahead, get those top three screws put in and go ahead and get the bottom screws put in, see if I can get this thing shored up a little bit. Also, I may try to uh, add some other support to it. Maybe like putting, I don't know, some bands and clamps around the uh, 4x4 pole to help give it just a little bit more structural integrity, especially up there to where I brought the uh, aluminum part the original pole down to the 4x4. Forgive me, I don't know half of what I'm talking about. I'm learning as I go. Like I said, I do this type of things out of hobby. Half the times I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm talking about. I learn as I go. <laughs> and I'm dragging y'all along with me in my stupidity. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get that on up there and carry forward. Alright. All right, well, it's been a few days. <clears throat> I'm making a few revisions. That weak link right there you see, right there, I went ahead, brought it down at that, and I'm reinforcing it with uh, some stronger piping, more piping. And I got the uh, rope, because now <laughs> it's definitely a good bit taller than 20 feet. And, the rope there just ain't cutting it, and it's getting kind of old. It's from 2017. So, considering all that, I'm having to use a ladder. I swear that sucker's got to be from the Civil War. It's a miracle it holds up my fat tail. I'm just completely collapsing. So, what I'm going to have to end up doing is <laughs> get a little bit more redneck if I can't get no more redneck like it is. That's to back my truck up to that pole right there. Put the ladder in the bed of the truck so that way I'll give me just enough height I can finish whacking the very edge <clears throat> of that link off get it back together and of course I'm going to be replacing the rope while I'm at it Alright, well, I miscalculated for having that wheelbarrow there. I couldn't exactly go straight back, so I had to reorganize. And cut through here. Backed up till I could feel the pole with the tailgate. Make sure that I got as close as I could. <sighs> Alright. Well, let's get to changing this rope out. And... We'll get this bad boy on up. At least try to, anyhow. Uh, I don't think things through. It sucks being a loner. Alright, thankfully I still got my handy dandy utility knife from the computer project I was working on yesterday. Some of the timelines may be off because, like I said, I'm still working on my main editing rig, kind of rebuilding it. Lines may be off, and videos just may be mushed together. Anything can be anything nowadays. 
I personally identify as a millionaire, but it ain't happening, and I'm very offended. You know what? Thinking maybe easier just to pull this on off. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let me get a screwdriver. All right, well, let's prepare to be very dumb <laughs> using a rickety old ladder tailgating my truck. Uh, to prepare, let's prepare to repair flagpole. Mm. Houston, we have success. Man, I tell you, <laughs> there for a moment, I didn't know if I was going to be busting my butt or what. And I'm <laughs> not a fan of heights. You have to do things a little at a time. But, let me take five, drink about a gallon of water, and I'll go ahead and we'll raise old glory up and salute her. All right, I'll see y'all in just a couple minutes. I'm going to say I'm going to knot it right about 
here. I always give just a little bit more than you think you're going to need. Because once you cut it, you can't put it back. There we go. Well, I reckon all that's left now is to actually put the uh, flag up. I got it sitting there behind the seat of the truck. All right, I got it done. Now, let's raise her up. Well, I got her back up. <laughs> I don't know how long she'll stay up, but that's it for right now for that. Um, I may try to patch it back up for use with another flag. Maybe like the stake flag, something like that. <clears throat> if it, I have issues out of it. For right now, that would do. It's better than having no flag flying in no oh glory sitting in the <laughs> behind the seat of my truck so <sighs> that's that all right well it's starting to rain and i need to get my tail in here i got some stuff that <laughs> don't need to be getting wet like drills cameras you name it all right well i will end this little chapter here for right now unless another storm comes and breaks it and I got to patch it again all right well I will catch y'all in the next segment and I see y'all there